good morning. We're back at Universal Studios Hollywood. It feels good to be back in California, but it's really, really windy. Oh my gosh, look at these palm trees right now. Dang, I feel like one of them is gonna fall. It's like the weather followed me from Florida and came here, except a little colder. But a uh, beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Not too sunny, as you can tell. One thing I have to say is I love these garlands we have over here. They just added them up for the Christmas season that's coming up in, uh, in about a week. Okay, check this out, guys. The Grinchmas merch is finally here. It looks like it's about the same thing as last year. But it looks like we also have a few new things, like this hat over here with a little bit of the Grinch's eyes. They also brought in this really soft fleece throw. This is new. I don't remember seeing this last year, and it's pretty big, too. So over here, they have the naughty beanies, but not the nice. Interesting. So I just made it into the park and it is empty. Everything's about five minutes from this point. It's about 12 p.m. right now. And uh, check out the Universal Studios store. The Harry Potter section at least already has its Christmas decorations up and it's looking fantastic. And if you didn't know this already, during the winter time, it snows inside of the Universal Store, specifically in this section, about every 15 minutes. So be sure to check that out. Don't miss it. And just slowly seeing some more decorations inside of the Universal Studios Store over here. Check this out. They already brought in some Christmas merch for The Simpsons. It's a lot more than we had last year, so I like that. Oh, I am seeing some new Grinchmas merch over here in the main Universal Studios store inside of the park. We have this new spirit jersey, and I'm trying to do this with one hand, but I really can't. It says, Merry Grinchmas. I really like this, and it's so soft, and you can get this for 75 bucks, and uh, you can also use... Oh, no! Epic fail. Let's forget that happened. You can get it for 75 bucks, and you can also use your annual pass discount on top of that. Oh my gosh, I love these right here. Whoa, this is a little more softer than I expected. How much is this? $22? Oh, I'm gonna have to get this. Uh, but there's a little Grinch plush over here. Oh, and uh, it comes with... No, it doesn't come with. But also Max is here. I love it. And of course, these spear jerseys just made a return. I'm not going to try that again. It just says the Grinch in the back. And uh, these are $55, so a little cheaper than the soft one over here. But this one is so much more cozy. Oh, I'm going to have to get this one. Speaking of merch, there's still some Horror Nights merchandise left over here in this little section. And everything is 90% off right now, which means these bubble wands would probably be like $3 over here. That also means I'm going to have to take Lil Boo with me. This is only $1.80 for the little sipper. I'll take it. And then they also have these thermal mugs. They're $29, so it's going to be like $4. I'm going to take that as well. Also, check this out. They finally swapped out the Halloween decorations for Christmas decorations outside of the Universal store. I like that. The winds are insane right now. But let's take a look at the wait times as of right now. The highest wait is for the Simpsons ride, posted at a 30 minute wait. Everything else is five minutes and uh, still no Waterworld. But on the studio tour, Jaws is finally back open. It just reopened, I think two days ago. It's so strange to see basically no one in the park right now. Look, the bride's out. She doesn't like the wind, that's for sure. Speaking of Bride of Frankenstein, I finally watched the movie the other day, and she's literally in 10 minutes of the movie. Oh no, these umbrellas either ripped, or they just look like that closed. I'm pretty sure they ripped. And take a look at that, the Grinchmas tree is finally going up over here. They gotta work really quick, because it starts in less than two weeks. And I think this is the only bit of Horror Nights left inside of the park. Oh, this is rare. Both Fiona and Shrek are out right now meeting guests. That's so awesome. And the lampposts over here are decorated with Christmas 
wreaths and I don't know what they're called garlands yeah garlands looks great here are the wreaths for Christmas I was having a hard time finding any wreaths aside from the ones in City Walk but yeah they're here they're here this is a really sad sight to see not the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein but La Llorona she's gone no Front Street has been decorated for quite some time uh, we're just waiting on a bunch of lights. They add a lot of lights in French Street, uh, but those still haven't been added yet. I love this weather right now. There's absolutely no one in the park, and it's cool, and the sun's not out, and I love when the sun's not out. Now I have a question for all of you guys. Are you brave enough to go in super silly fun land in this weather? Now take a look at Minions Cafe. They finally swapped out some of the Halloween posters with Christmas posters. Now that brings up a question. Are they going to bring some seasonal food offerings over here at Minions Cafe? For Halloween, they did a great job with the talkie bowl, the talkie mac and cheese bowl. As of right now, nothing yet. Walking down Minion Way right now to see some Christmas decorations. And look, Gru and one of the Minions are out right now. It's looking really nice. I'm loving the Christmas decorations up around Minion Way and now Pets Place. The Pets Ride has no weights right now, which is amazing. Does anyone know if they still give physical virtual queue tickets? We're still waiting on a few more Christmas props, but uh, it's slowly starting. Oh, look at that. The Universal Horror Hotel sign is gone. Oh no, and they're slowly bringing back this cart over here. And look, City Snack Shop is also back open. Oh, oh, Beetlejuice is hiding. What, what are you hiding from, the Christmas decorations? No, I'm trying to scare people. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'll let you at it. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I love seeing new merch. Check out this Jaws hoodie inside of Production Central. What? I've never seen that. And uh, we have some new ET sweaters. And there's a sweatshirt and then another sweatshirt over here. It says, I love ET. I like that. They still have tons of Jupiter's Claim merchandise over here. Uh, by the way, these are not 90% off because it's a full-time offering inside of the park. I think there's one more shirt over here. Yeah. It's been a minute since we've entered the wizarding world. So let's go in. It seems like ooh, it seems like they brought in some Christmas decorations already. Yeah, look at that. Little mini wreaths. Oh yeah, tons and tons of Christmas decorations. I wonder if we'll have new offerings for Christmas this year. Walking into one of the stores right now you can see they added a lot of Christmas decorations I love it this is always my favorite wreath to see every year in the wizarding world they always represent all four houses of Hogwarts this is like the perfect weather to get on any Harry Potter ride so you know what we're just gonna do that Forbidden is like a five minute wait right now and it's never five minutes, so this is fantastic. So I got to ride this when I visited Florida the other day and it's completely different. There's no lockers here. It's like a gift shop and uh, Express is in the same spot. Everything else is kind of in the same spot. I know it's dark here, so I'll make this quick. Um, it just felt a lot smaller than the one in Hollywood. Also keep in mind that was version A of Forbidden Journey. Then came Hollywood and then I think Japan or vice versa also in this queue it's not elevated in Florida it's all on one floor Hogwarts also receives its fair share of Christmas decorations which is cool I like that they do that I wonder if they added decorations in this room yet uh, doesn't look like it maybe a few more days oh no they did and so the Hogwarts sorting hat
one yet. Not this week anyway. Hey, you lot. You haven't seen the dragon, have you? Right. Hang on. We live up to the Quidditch pitch. <laughs> I feel like it just got a little busier. It's two o'clock now, so maybe everyone's getting off work and starting to come to the park because they're realizing it's kind of empty, so it's the perfect day for a visit. The Simpsons ride just looks incredible with these clouds behind it. So over the Florida trip, I was able to do Jurassic Park River Adventure, which is the original version of Jurassic World, what we have today. And uh, I feel like it's appropriate to only ride Jurassic World today. I wasn't intentionally planning on filming a Nintendo World update, but I might as well because I am seeing something new. They're working on the shell of Toad's Cafe, and uh, that's looking cool. And uh, I guess there's a few theming elements outside of the Mario Kart ride, and that's about it for now. But uh, it's looking great, it's looking great. I'll definitely be back in a few days to check out some more updates, but first I need to head to Disneyland because Disneyland is kicking off a huge Christmas event and I can't wait to attend that. Also check out the Universal Campus from here. It's coming together slowly but surely and I don't know why this is turning into an update video but we're just gonna we're gonna ignore that and head down. I think it's just a little too cold for Jurassic World but you know what YOLO I'm doing it. And to make things a little more interesting and spicier it started raining which is awesome. <laughs> Just have to return point. Sir, Blue is out of containment. 
Oh my gosh, and it's raining so hard. <laughs> With the rain simultaneously, it felt like we had the water cannons again. It's raining so hard, and we're just stuck under the rain right now. I think this is the most wet I've ever been from the Jurassic World ride. Alright, I'm walking through this rain right now. It's like the Florida weather followed me here. It was sunny, and then as soon as I come back, to California. It's raining. I took the mic off because of the rain. I didn't want it to break, so I apologize for any bad quality audio. I'm sure it sounds okay, but if it does sound bad, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice they added Christmas decorations over here on the lower lot sign. Oh my gosh, the rain is coming in harder and harder, and my Yeezys are getting wetter and wetter. The floor is literally flooded. <laughs> I'm not safe. I don't know what to do with my shoes. Um, so this is gonna be my outro because I didn't know it was gonna rain this hard. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe.